<sighs> Welcome back. <laughs> God, I can't even make a proper intro right now. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian. Thank you so much for watching. As you can tell, we are back with the Kingdom Hearts content. Now, uh, j just to quickly get out of the way, because I just I want to get this video over, because I, I just found out there's a there's a Magic the Gathering card shop down the road that I I was not aware of for the past year, and I want to go to it. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, I want to get this over with. Um, but just to kind of answer your guys questions real quick I've been getting asked every here and there every once in a while as to uh, What's happening to the Kingdom Hearts content here on the channel and just to kind of address that real quick I am still making Kingdom Hearts content uh, The only thing it, like the main reason why I haven't really been uploading in any Kingdom Hearts content And you guys probably have been seeing me just play like all these other games instead is primary for like two or three reasons it's very simple it's not really that hard to think about to be honest uh the first reason being that a union cross right now is probably the most boring thing to make content about right now okay quite literally all the quests are the same they like they're all literally the same thing they're not doing anything new or original or anything to actually excite the player base, okay? You remember back to the org uh, Organization 13 events that happened like once a month? Yeah, nothing at all on that sort of level. Um, everything is pretty much, hey, defeat this generic enemy, okay? Oh snap, you get gems, 90 gems, and it's just like, okay, this is great and all, but like, there's nothing exciting about it, um, at least for me anyways. So that's why I haven't really been making any content for it. Uh, I still play the game, okay, just to, you know, keep up on it just in case, on top of the fact that like for when Dark Road comes out too, um, I could have a good start on that as well, because uh, in case you're not aware, they did announce that your initial card collection or whatever would be based off your metal album, like how big your metal album. So I made sure to stay keep up, kept up on the game for that. Um, I still have a, I still have really strong setups and everything. Uh, but anyway, aside from that, uh, the second reason why I haven't really been making stuff, aside from the fact that Union Cross is probably the most boring mobile game I'm ever played right now. Uh, is the fact that I'm kind of just been waiting for Dark Road stuff to come out too. Um, and it, honestly, there weren't so much, there wasn't really much info on that until just recently, hence the reason for this video. Uh, the third reason as well is just simply because of the fact that I've been busy. Uh, I, my hours are starting to pick back up at work now that like, uh, stores and whatnot are starting to, uh, alleviate the restrictions uh on their like hours and conditions and whatnot so i've been i've been getting more hours at work again and and like i'm also in the process of starting to looking for an apartment to move out to when you combine all that type of stuff together like it makes sense that why i haven't really been making any kingdom hearts content but i i do want to just reconfirm that like i've it's not like i've lost my love for kingdom hearts i still love kingdom hearts i just didn't really feel the motivation to really make anything for Kingdom Hearts, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Anyways, though, uh, the purpose of this video isn't to talk about all that. Uh, the main thing I want to talk about is all go over all of the latest uh, Dark Road, Kingdom Hearts Dark Road content that you may not have heard of or may have missed. Uh, or maybe you know about some of the latest things, but not the previous things, all that good jazz. Okay, so we're kind of going to kind of go in order. In case you are not aware as well, uh, Dark Road does have their own Twitter page. So if you want, uh, a lot of this stuff can be just grabbed straight from their Twitter page. So if you want some of that stuff, you might as well just go ahead and just follow them on Twitter. They recently just started posting these like kind of uh, phone wallpapers that you could even download as well. So if you're interested in that type of thing, just go ahead and follow them. It's the easiest way to get information pretty direct aside from like youtubers like myself and whatnot um but other than that in case you were not aware uh there was a rich they were originally going to post some more info and stuff about dark road a few months back but they actually posted a few months ago that due to current conditions development for dark road has been delayed uh we apologize for the late update as we were trying to find some means of making a spring release another announcement would be coming early in june we're in june so please stay tuned. So now that we're in June, this is where all the 
spicy uh, new info got released and stuff, okay? And this is where we're, and, and they basically just started doing these like new little campaign type things where, and I hate, I can't, I like, I understand why they're doing it this way, but at the same time, I think it's stupid from a like, a, a single person's point of view, because it's like, bruh. <laughs> I'll show, you, I'll show you in a second. So, uh, for example, they've been having a lot of these kind of like little campaign moments where like uh, they'll show like in-game in screenshots of the game or like they'll show uh, one picture of uh, each new character, okay? But like uh, it's like one out of eight screenshots, okay? So you have to like tweet them multiple times to try and get all eight of the screenshots so you can see it. It's it's really annoying. Um, I get why they do it. Obviously, it's for, for more clout on the Twitterverse, whatever. Um, but from a, like, uh, consumer, I guess from a cons consumer's perspective, it's just really annoying. <laughs> It's really annoying to do, uh, and like it's one of those things. I'm like, I I'm not gonna look. At this. I'm just gonna look for a picture online or look for a YouTuber who's already put got all the pictures together or something. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly show that on the screen. All right. So first up, they had the little Twitter campaign. They could tweet them, get each of these. Uh, this is revealing the newest characters in the game. Uh, in the top left corner, we obviously have uh, Erd, okay, who is standing behind Ericus and Xehanort. Uh, top right, we have Braggy, Braggy, however you want to pronounce that. Bottom left, Hermod, and bottom right, Vor. Okay, if you want to see a more holistic picture of all of these non-blurred, uh, we have another one. This time they actually released all of them together shortly afterwards, so it's not everybody kind of like being a little annoyed by the whole tweet, retweet campaign thingamajigger. Now, when it comes to these new characters that have been introduced into the game the biggest kind of like theory or speculation about these new characters is that they actually are the foretellers but younger essentially um so like for example a lot of people have been speculating that like her mod might be era when he was younger just because and a lot of these just come down to like hairstyle uh and whatnot and obviously after like boy or girl or whatnot you know like how when you can view the foretellers like hairstyles from like the sides or back of their head and whatnot so that's kind of where a lot of these have been coming from uh erd might be envy uh braggy might be a said and envor might be ava when you start taking into account like obviously the fact that two are female two are male uh their hairstyles are fairly similar to the foretellers and whatnot obviously they're younger because it's supposed to be like way in the past before even like the whole uh, Keyblade War and the Kai uh, era happened and all that good jazz. It kind of makes sense. Now, where does Gula kind of fit into all this? Who knows? That's kind of a question for me. I find it kind of strange that like, okay, sure, I can buy that that, you know, these guys are the foretellers, but like, if they actually are the foretellers, where the fuck is Gula? <laughs> like, you would think Gula will be there too, right? <laughs> Where is he fit in the picture? I don't know. So, I don't know. I, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, next up, though, they started. They did start revealing some in-game screenshots uh, about the game as well. That I do want to uh, kind of show you guys. So, first up, we have this picture of what looks like to be kind of like the combat. Uh, within the game. I'm honestly not too, too surprised. It looks like it's gonna be pretty straightforward almost In a way kind of exactly the same as it was as it is at the moment right now for Union Cross Where you have like the whole metal system the only difference being that this looks like it's going to be uh, Instead of using metals, you're gonna use cards kind of like Kingdom Hearts uh, Chain of Memories except the main thing that I'm noticing is that that's the only similarity the chain of memories that is in here uh the fact that it's i'm assuming it based off because of the fact that it looks like they're just taking old assets from the browser version of kai and kind of importing it into dark road 
that it the combat's gonna be exactly the same the only difference is just simply the visual perspective is that instead of viewing five metals on your keyblade on the bottom left corner as you like use them and whatnot you're just gonna be swiping cards instead uh that do like the same exact type of abilities and you can see just from the picture below that we have like uh, the Queen of Hearts, for example, have the like red sword on the top left of the card, kind of indicating that it might be like a power card. And then the Keyblade on the left being a green card, indicating it might be a speed type card. Uh, so that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about here, where it looks like the combat's going to be fairly similar to what we already do in Union Cross, just kind of a slightly different visual format. At least that's what I'm assuming based off this anyways. Now, one of the biggest things that I'm kind of curious about that I don't recall quite seeing at the moment, now you can see there's these two symbols on the top right hand corner and that little purple symbol, I've not, I don't recall seeing this before, so I'm very curious as to what the heck that is, uh, what that pertains to. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be some sort of new, maybe like material in the game or something. Uh, or if it's some actual new type of enemy indicating how many enemies left are in the round or whatever. So I'm very curious to see what the heck that is. Uh, just because as you guys know, when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts series, uh, every little fucking thing matters. <laughs> every symbol, every name, uh, every interpretation of a name uh, is it's, it's completely whack. So I, yeah, I'm a very curious about that. So next up though, in terms of the pictures, we have this one. This one's pretty straightforward. It just looks like a, a card album, kind of similar to our metal album and Union Cross. Um, not really too much to explain here, except maybe noticing the stuff on the bottom uh, where it shows stats, album, home, missions, shop. You can notice on the top right corner as well, it shows the gems, uh, tickets, gold tickets. Uh, I don't know if those are going to be skip tickets, kind of like how we do right now. Uh, and then it also shows the, the the same little symbol as well, which kind of, I, I'm i still interested. Maybe, for all I know, those might actually be uh, the representation for cards you have collected. I don't know. Um, but the fact that it's fairly consistent in their album as well and not just in-game while you're battling, that that's interesting so it could entirely be just a brand new type of uh material or item within uh dark road the game itself and not necessarily like a canon item if that makes sense so uh that's that's kind of what kind of what i'm feeling at, at the moment but i don't know we'll see next picture we have an actual kind of a screenshot of like an in-game cutscene. um we see a pic of young xehanort yet next to what I'm assuming is going to be like his future self, one of his future versions of him. Um, obviously, they're on Destiny Island at the moment, and the, t and the text says, sometimes all it takes is a single step. So it looks like his future stuff self went back in time to try and like tell his younger version all about what's happening and everything, and kind of trying to convince him to like, hey, you know, c consume darkness, okay? Just take that first step. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this. Uh, next up, we have a picture about what was it like on the other side of the ocean. That is Eric is talking, talking to Xehanort. They're on the bench. They're in Scala Ad Kylum. Uh, in that little like entryway that you start off on uh, when you first enter the area in Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, there's not really too much anything that I can really kind of pertain or grab from this scenario. It's, it's kind of straight straightforward they're literally just talking to each other on a bench the only thing i would really comment on is the fact that he says what is on the other side of the ocean so considering the fact that you initially have to like teleport uh using the portals in kingdom hearts 3 to uh, the to scala column in the first place it does kind of make you question beyond all the body of water uh, like that's surrounding Scala Ad Kylum. What exactly is beyond all that, okay? Because uh, I have a feeling that this might be kind of a, not exactly a play on words, but a play on some of the themes that have happened previously in Kingdom Hearts. So like if you remember, like in Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, they took the raft trying to cross the ocean and whatnot, just to, you know, kind of go travel and everything. Um, 
and then like in Kingdom Hearts 2, Kairi left the bottle and just left it in the ocean and then somehow it ended up in the realm of darkness for uh, Sora to find uh, on the little like seashore and everything. So the ocean tends to play this kind of little like uh, sub thing, sub theme, I ah, can't speak. So the ocean kind of plays into this kind of sub theme in the Kingdom Hearts universe of like, not exactly crossing worlds, but kind of crossing worlds and like <laughs> traversing time and space and everything. Like, it's weird because you know, the, the worlds are not necessarily supposed to be connected. They're all supposed to be separated and everything, but it's like at the same time. So for some reason, the ocean lets them connect each other. It's just, it's very strange. So uh, I feel like rather than, this might be a situation where they're kind of like, out in Kingdom Hearts 1 where they were talking about the raft and everything. Uh, this might be a situation where young Xehanort has already like gone through a portal or whatnot. Um, and Ericus and Xehanort may have been talking about trying to cross, cross the ocean or something. Or And, and Xehanort was simply told him they crossed the ocean but didn't tell him how he crossed the ocean. AKA his uh, portals of darkness and everything. Um, and Eric is, is just simply like following up, like, "Oh, hey, welcome back from your trip. Uh, from your trip, how uh, how was it on the other side of the ocean?" Type of thing. Um, and Zerno is just like, "Bro, I seen some shit. <laughs> I saw my future self. Just uh, I can see that very easily being a possibility. Uh, I mean, it's Kingdom Hearts. Like something of that nature wouldn't be." uncommon in my opinion but but anyways next up we have another screenshot uh of in-game combat this is pretty much straightforward uh it's very similar to how the first screenshot was this time we just have some different card artwork on the bottom but it kind of confirms what i was speculating about previously about there being very similar combat uh how there's like uh this time we can actually see some blue cards instead so assuming it's magic based now one thing i do find interesting is the fact that they have different types of actual like uh weapon symbols on the top left corner of the card so like the first two cards show a sword symbol uh the third card shows a staff and then the fifth card uh with alice shows a shield so what i'm assuming from this is that they still fulfill the same role you still like swipe them to activate them and whatnot um the only thing i think what is happening here is the fact that they're just kind of more streamlining what the abilities are more likely to do um because as it is right now if you just swipe a metal on in union cross you don't actually know you don't really have an indication of what it does based on the animation or anything like that or what the metal looks like it's completely based off its text that you know what it does okay uh so i think these are supposed to be just more visual representations to give you an idea from the uh get-go without having to activate it uh especially if you're like you're a new player and you're not really a gamer or anything like that just give you a better indication of what the card is more likely uh what a type of effect it's probably going to end up having um so that's my uh guess on that and I, I would like to think that that's, that's a pretty fair guess in my opinion. Other than that though. Next up we have another card uh, screenshot. Um, this one I would say that we could probably take away from the fact that if we look above where it says Spark Break times 2.0 and it shows three cards. It looks like they are taking some aspects of Chain of Memories where you can kind of combine some of the cards together in order to get a stronger effect. Uh, kind of like how in Chain of Memories where you would like stack up the numbers uh, in order to create a bigger number so you can card break some of the enemies bigger numbers and everything like that. Uh, that's what I'm going to kind of assume is happening right here. That would kind of make sense considering that there are cards and obviously cards are kind of affiliated with Chain of Memories. So that's my take on that. Next up, we I'm not really too sure what this is. The only thing I can really guess here is that this is supposed to be some sort of a uh, deck creation tool, kind of like in Chain of Memories, where you have your own deck, the, the custom deck that you customize, uh, and you can sh sort around everything and like, well, make your own deck. It shows your level, shows your stats. Uh, I find it very interesting that it actually shows specifics like strength defense magic magic resist 
stats for this, which is kind of different. Because um, at least in Union Cross itself, we pretty much only have just strength and defense. That is it. <laughs> that is all we have. So the fact we actually have uh, an actual magic stack stat and a magic resistance stat, I find to be fairly interesting. Um, so I'm willing to assume that a lot of the cards we are going to have in our deck are going to be straight up affecting one of, one of these five stat values. Uh, so you could, in theoretically, make a pure like magic build if you want to, um, or maybe make like a, a physical attack build, but invest all of your defense into magic resist instead, uh, because you might be fighting up against a magic opponent or something like that. So it it make it gives a little bit more depth to the combat. I don't think it's gonna be that much more depth, but it will be interesting to see. Uh, it'll make it just a little bit more entertaining, in my opinion. Um, I've always loved uh I, I, like i know a lot of people didn't really like chain of memories just because of the fact of the combat cell but at least when i first played chain of memories i actually truly enjoyed chain of memories when i first played it just because of the fact that i naturally like playing trading card games i'm like i kind of just mentioned it in the earlier uh in the video but uh if i didn't cut it out but i play magic of the gathering okay i used to play heavily into Yu Gi Oh, um and then i dabbled in some of the other uh, card games as well, but I, I like trading card games. So something like Chain of Memories just fit naturally for me. I thought it was super fun. So this is kind of in the same vein and it's in a mobile game. So kind of it's a little bit more okay, uh, in my opinion, just because it's kind of, I mean, like it's a mobile game. What do you expect? Um, and of course, of course, they're probably going to end up selling you different cards from Dark Road for all we know, considering that there are gems in Dark Road too. So. This is another screenshot picture. Uh, looks like it's come from one of the in-game uh, cutscenes. Uh, we have a picture of the four new characters kind of sitting around the table with some books on it. It's kind of hard to tell what exactly they're here for because they're literally just sitting there. Nothing in particular is happening. There's no text. No one's talking at the moment. So, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it for today, guys, in terms of all of the new content and that has been shared uh, via the Dark Road Twitter page. Again, I recommend checking that out if you just want to get it directly. Um, one thing I will note, though, real quick, is the fact that if you're not aware, the Union Cross community managers have recently posted on Reddit a questions uh post so essentially if you have any questions in regards to like the the devs and whatnot that you would like to ask them uh you can post them here on this reddit post and i'll, I'll post a link to it down below in case you want to check it out um and they'll be taking some of their their favorites or at least the questions that they are allowed to answer anyways um and they will kind of like I don't know, they'll do something with it later, okay? But if you have any questions to ask in terms of Dark Road and you wanna ask them directly to them, go ahead and check this out, I highly recommend it. Um, you can already take a look and see like, what has already been asked. Typically in these type of uh, posts, people tend to kind of all ask the same thing or all ask the things that we want to ask anyway. So chances are by now, especially that it's been up for like two days at this point, uh, if you have a question in particular that you wanted to ask in terms about Dark Road, chances are it might have already been asked at this point. Uh, but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and just check it out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know and upload more videos such as this one. Uh, keep in mind again, like I mentioned before, I do still plan to make Kingdom Hearts content. But at the same time, please don't be surprised if you see me playing other games as well. I'm a human being. I want to stay sane. I like playing other games too. <laughs> and I like being able to uh, share and enjoy them with you guys as well. I know, I know for a lot of you guys, not everyone's here for the other content. You're here primarily for the Kingdom Hearts stuff, and that's completely fair. If that's the case, I recommend just having the bell button being set on personalized rather than on all notifications. That way, you only get notified about the type of content that, that you actually enjoy watching, okay? Sounds fair to me, right? But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, big shout out to my members and patrons. Uh, you're a great help through all these times, especially with how busy I've been lately and how dry like Kingdom Hearts related like <laughs> news has been lately, especially since, you know, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was not so long ago. 
um, but you're a great help. If any of you enjoy my content and would like to help out, I truly appreciate it if you became, became a member for the channel. But other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. COVID is still out there. I still see people w without wearing their masks and it kind of annoys me. Uh, maybe I'm just being a little too paranoid, but stay safe, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace, y'all.